If it isn't Dr. Nick Beecroft, as I live and breathe. Stephen Doughton, my old friend. 30 years is too long. Oh, coming back to the old spot. <laughs> You know, I perform life-saving penis surgeries daily, and I think a lot. And today, all I could think about was this room. Improv. What'd you get? Erica is appointed to the Supreme Court today, alongside the eight Ginsburgs. But during the celebration, all I could think about was this room. The 29th of April. Quite a day for all of us. Amy! Shouldn't you be in New York performing as the first ever gender-swapped Simba in Disney's hit musical The Lion King on Broadway? Stop it. I just, I couldn't shake the feeling that I needed to come back to University Hall, room 014. <laughs> and neither could I. Danny! An Oscar, an Emmy, a Tony, a Grammy. None of it could compare to the raw energy of improv. Not even Steven II, the first fully human looking and feeling robot my creation can compare in that department. He can't even yes hand. Steven II, here are these bananas. Would you like them? I see no bananas. <laughs> Only humans can know the true power of improvised comedy. Robots can never conceive of it. My God, Garrett, shouldn't you be in Iceland at the Larger Hadron Collider? I left my right-hand man, Pippi, in charge of it for the week. I felt something drawing me back here. Isn't it beautiful? Do you guys remember? The crowds, how loud the laughter was, the riotous cheers, our final night on the stage. Do you remember all the people we performed with? Don Cheadle. Beyonce. Kevin Spacey. Dame Maggie Smith. Trent Rowland. Ah. And the after party? My liver's still recovering. <laughs> what a shame it had to end that way. Mm, the most tragic of endings. It fills me with shame to this very day. How on earth could we have avoided it? Such a sad ending to a beautiful night. <laughs>